I'm going to teach you guys how to properly do a bench press with a barbell, okay? First thing you want to do is you want to set up your bench, set up your barbell, okay? Uh, most people are going to have the peg on the second hole. Some of them don't even have pegs, so just get it to a point where you can lay down and get it off the bar. Get the bar off the pegs. Now what you want to do, okay, first I'm going to show you how to not do a bench press. There's lines on the bench. This you can do. Most people use this finger, the uh, index finger, I believe, pointer finger, I don't know. The little finger next to the pinky finger. We're going to call it that for now. <laughs> Brain fart. Okay, so what you want to do is put that or your middle finger on there. I like using my middle finger. What you're not going to do is keep your wrist bent like this. Okay, you want to make sure your wrist stays straight. And what you're also not going to do is bring it down like this. Okay? That's how you cause a shoulder injury. That's how you tear a rotator cuff and destroy everything back here. And the reason being is because, okay, when you're coming down like this, now if I bring my arms down, does that look natural? No, it doesn't look natural. But that's what you're doing when you do this, when you do this movement. What you want to do is you want to come down like this over your nipples. Okay, now if I just relax my arms, I'm still in a normal position. I'm not jacked up like I was back here. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down. You're going to put your middle finger on that little line. Bring the bar up, okay? Get your shoulder blades together. And you're going to bring the bar down across your nipple line and come down 90 degrees and push straight up, okay? Breathe in on the way down. Push up 90 degrees. Bring it down. 90 degrees, up. Now, some of you might be saying, especially the younger generation, I was told to touch my chest, or I was told to do this. Okay, listen. You don't want to bring it down to touch your chest, because if you're going past 90 degrees, the weight's transferring from your chest onto your shoulder, you're going to cause an injury, okay? Some of your friends might be able to touch their chest when they bring the bar down. But when I was in high school, all my friends told me to touch my chest with the bar. But my friends were also like five foot two, and their chest was already out to here, so when they brought the bar down to 90 degrees, or when they brought the bar down to touch their chest, it was already at 90 degrees, okay? Because that's how far they had to go down. They had shorter arms and a bigger chest. Now, some power lifters, my form on this is probably off, so don't, if you want to power lift, I'll have a power lifter show you guys how to do it. But I've seen enough to know that when they do it, they put their feet like right here, okay? And what they do is they come up like this, bring their feet back, get their arms on here, and they come in and drive their shoulders into the mat. I mean into the pad, and when they pick the bar up and bring it down to their chest, my arms are at 90 degrees because my body's so jacked up in the air, okay? So there's different forms of benching, but I guys want you to take away from this one is a regular bench press where you're gonna lay down, okay? You're gonna put your middle fingers on these lines, pick the bar up off the pegs, stick your chest out, your shoulder blades together, and just bring the bar down 90 degrees. Then bring it up. Keep the bar over your nipple line. One more. And that's how you do a bench press with a barbell.